Welcome to the instructional video for the Highmate tripod. We're here down on Brighton Lawns, Hove actually, in the shadow of the i360, about to show you how to set it up. Two components, the tripod and the legs and the camera. We start with the tripod. The tripod comes in two components. First part is the legs. And the legs are put up. That is it, it's as simple as that. Then we get the telescopic pole. And we drop the telescopic pole in. Lift up the base and you screw it in and secure it. Now we just want to secure the legs. So every tripod comes with three skewers. Each one with their own Velcro strap. And you just, like a corkscrew, go opening a fine bottle of wine. In you go. Grab the Velcro, wrap it round, make sure the Velcro is on the outside, wrap it round, and you're secure. You've also got the ability on every leg to adjust the height. So if you're on any uneven ground, you can alter it accordingly. We're nice and flat here down on the lawns. Then we go to the camera and new Oyster bag, we lift out your high mate. Camera, we don't need the gloom today, no rain. Two cables, start from the top, turn the camera on and you plug in the HDMI. Literally only one place it can go. Twist it round and we've got the micro USB port, only one hole, just push it in. That's it, and then on the side, on off charge, turn it to one. Put it on the tripod and we're ready to go. So we set up the tripod, it's secure, we put the camera on it. What we need now is the app and the tablet. So nice little storage bag at the side. We get the tablet, turn it on. We hit the HiMate app. We hit the start remote and now we can see it tells you it's connected to the HiMate. It tells you the status, it tells you we're up to date. It tells you the camera's connected. It tells you the video stream started. It's done all the pre-flight checks for you. So now we know what's happening. We hit the start remote button. We now have a picture, so we're ready to go. So what we do, we do the last of the pre-flight checks down here. We do a left, we do a right, we do a zoom in, zoom out. We hit record, record in, we hit record off. Now we hit record off, he says, do you really want to turn off? We say yes, and we set that in there so you don't accidentally turn off recording and you've stood there the whole game and realised that you've turned it off. So, all pre-flight checks are done. Now what we're going to do is put the tripod up. Simple. Loosen it, tighten it. There's a stopper at the end. Just come down a little bit. Same again. Get to the end, down a little bit. And you're now going to start seeing what it looks like at seven and a half meters up. One more to go here. And the final one, you don't have to put all of them up all the way, that's your choice. Now obviously the camera's spun round during that time, so what we've done is we've got a top, on the top here we've got a button, center camera. We hit the center camera, it's now centered itself from where you were using it. We look up and we see it's written high mate on the base. We twist that high mate and we're using the i360 as the center line today, halfway line, we twist that. Now we know we've got 180 degrees, we've got 90 one way, 90 the other, and we're able to film all the way around to the French coast, back, all the way around to the facade of Hove Lawns, and then back this way at the 360, and we can zoom in as tight as we want. And out we come and we just follow that game however we see. That is how to set up and use a high mate tripod. It should be as simple as that as it, for you as it was for me.